Hi, I'm Amy Sandler, host of the Radical Candor podcast. We're thrilled to introduce you to our new Radically Candid mini-episodes. These bite-sized shows feature Kim giving radical candor tips. They're between 5 to 10 minutes long and will be released in between regular episodes. Enjoy it with a snack. Hi, I'm Kim Scott. And I'm Eleanor Scott. And a lot of people who've read Radical Candor and listened to the Radical Candor podcast have written in wondering why I am so adamant about my advice to eliminate from your vocabulary the words don't take it personally. Ellen and I are going to act out two different scenarios, one in which I tell her don't take it personally and one in which I simply react with compassion to her emotion. Okay. Hey, Kim. Hey, Elle. I'm so glad we're chatting. I just have a couple of minutes, but I just wanted to let you know that I felt like in that meeting, you really dug your heels in and you just were not listening to Oscar. Oh, um, well, I was trying to listen, but I also have my own opinion. Mm Mm-hmm. And I guess, yeah, I guess I didn't want to just cave if I felt like Oscar's direction wasn't going to be wasn't going to be the right direction. Yeah, but it's kind of hard to explain to Oscar what he's doing wrong if you don't really, or what he's, why his position is wrong if you don't really understand his position. And that's my concern. Does it seem like you didn't listen well enough to be able to even argue effectively with him? Wow, I have never had anyone tell me that I don't listen well enough. That's interesting. Hmm. Look, Elle, don't take it personally. But, what I'm saying. I'm I'm just trying to help here. But you're saying I don't listen well. How will I not take that personally? Well, I'm saying in the meeting with Oscar, mm-hmm. when you couldn't let him finish a sentence, it didn't seem like you were listening very well. And I shouldn't take that personally because you're not talking to anyone else but me. I just feel like you're letting your ego get in the way of this feedback. Um... Okay, I feel like... This is not going very well, is it? No. (laughs) Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Retake. Hey, Elle. Hey, Kim. I just wanted to grab you for two seconds after that meeting, or maybe two minutes. It was a little, yeah. It was a rough meeting, huh? A little bit, a little bit, yeah. I want to give you a little feedback if you're open to hearing about it. Yes. So I think maybe one of the things that went wrong in that meeting is that you went into the meeting so disagreeing with Oscar that you couldn't really listen to him. Well, it's true that I disagree with him, and I'm trying to listen to him, but I, we've had this conversation not in the meeting but also in other places, and so I guess I'm, I'm feeling a little frustrated because if I feel something different from Oscar, it seems like you know then I'm accused of... I'm digging my heels in, but it's just my opinion. Seems like this is a frustrating situation for you. It is frustrating. Yeah, I am. I I am. I'm frustrated, and I, I want to be able to state my case. Mm -hmm. And of course, I respect that Oscar has his opinion. Yeah. And I think that's the nice part point about the meeting is that we can all kind of air our opinions. Yeah. You know what? One of the things that was kind of frustrating about it, from my perspective, is that there were actually areas in which you agree. But you didn't even discover those areas because you were so, you, you just, your ears were a little shut. Mm. So I think if you could try next time to just listen with the intent to understand what he's saying instead of to respond, the meeting might go a little better. Okay. Obviously, okay. if you disagree, respond. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Does that help a little? It does. I mean, I actually don't really understand Oscar's point because it. For me, it takes us down a path that's not going to be productive. Yeah, but I can understand that. Just try to try to understand where he's coming from, and I think I think you and he will find it find that you can find some common ground faster than you expect. Okay. Can you try that? Yeah. Cool. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So so interesting. As soon as she said, "I can see that you're frustrated," there was a moment of opening, and so I suddenly felt like I can share with you actually what my frustration is. So different from... Instead of saying, don't take it personally. Yeah. You can do this. Give some feedback. Be Be radically radically candid. candid. Thanks for joining us. Our podcast features Radical Candor co-founders Kim Scott and Jason Rosoff, 
is produced by our director of content, Brandy Neal, and hosted by me, Amy Sandler. Music is by Cliff Goldmacher. Go ahead and follow us on Twitter at Candor and find us online at RadicalCandor.com. 